Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Bomber 3023-3-633 double acting spring hinge. The 3023 is representative of the fact that this is a half surface hinge, and half surface is a reference to the leaf that mortise or that would attach to the door. In this, in this case, because it's half surface, it would be surface mounted to the face of the door. The dash three is representative of the size, which you can see in the link called template. Um, it, it is really not a dimension that you can take off of this hinge. The three inch reference is actually a reference to how thick of a door this hinge is, is made to accommodate. And we'll talk about uh, that more in a moment. The 633 refers to the finish, and that would be the satin brass finish. So um, let's go back to the half the uh, style of hinge, the 3023. So you see, you've got the leaves tucked back here. The door leaf pivots around like this. This is the jam leaf. So you can see that you would push this leaf back. Sorry kind of screwing you up there. The jam would set back here and you would attach this leaf to the jam through these screws and the spring is in there so you're really only going to easily get it open to 90 degrees in order to attach that portion to the jam. Okay. Once you get that attached to the jam, you know the hinge will look like this. This leaf will be flapping around. Your door sets into this pocket here and let's talk about that now. The three inch size specifically means that this is intended for three quarter to one inch doors. Thinner will be a problem because the screw centers, pardon me, three, a three inch will be a problem because it won't, anything thinner, um, you know, this hinge is over engineered for uh, in terms of the size. Anything thicker and it won't fit into this pocket. I suppose, you know, with a half surface, you could probably fit a thinner piece of material into that, but thinner than three quarters, typically not anything that a door is made out of. Um, important to know the three inch is that range, three quarter to one inch. The, the, the door leaf simply surface mounts to the face of the door. So your door is going to set into here, and then those screws, and by the way, screws are included, painted to match, look like you know, number five by, you know, one inch flathead screws. Like this. So this, this barrel will handle the spring loaded aspect of the door opening up out this way. And then of course the back side is handled when the door is pushed in the opposite direction. You know, that's kind of the operation there. Really nice quality hinge by Bomber. Um, as is all their components. Let's talk about that for a moment. You can see the logo that's there and right above it you'll note made in USA a fact that Bomber is quite proud of as am I to represent them. Very good quality products by even higher quality people in my opinion at Bomber. Half surface, door thickness three quarter to one inch. There is uh, a guide, there are guidelines below the link to this video for maximum weight. These are small hinges even though they're not technically small, they're for doors that are not very heavy. Two hinges are 35 pounds. Three hinges would be up to a 39 pound door. Um, width two foot wide for uh, two use of two hinges then you can go up to 32 inch or a two foot eight inch door if you've got three hinges. There's a link below this video called uh, installation instructions and that link shows in general how the 3000 series double acting springs work but really it's important for discussing if you're going to have three hinges installed two of them need to be at the top because that's the business end of everything that's happening with the with the mechanics of of a double acting door all the weight's going to be borne really by the top hinge or top two hinges so don't put that third hinge in the middle kick it way up at the top between uh, two and three inches below the top hinge and the bottom hinge then just becomes a stabilizing hinge, really. <clears throat> uh, very important. Plus, if you feel that you're on the borderline of something, go with the third hinge because you'll act, you'll ask each spring in each barrel to do that much or share the load more. Um, because if you snap one of these springs by over tensioning it, 
you will, it, the hinge is irreparable, it has to be replaced. Plus, those springs are also doing the job at keeping the door, you know, in a plumb, you know, in, in a state of being plumb, because the door is going to naturally want to fall into the opening, and you're going to need this, this the, the spring tension in this leaf to keep the door from wanting to do that. Um, one thing that's not very obvious in the extended description, although it is shown in the template, is the thickness of this material here between where the jam would be and the pocket where the door would go. And that's important because if you have, if you take your width, your, your actual inside jam uh, width, you will ultimately have to determine how wide is, what is the net width of my door. You'll have to determine that. And that will be based on how much margin to leave here and then how much margin to leave between the door, the opposite end of the door and the jam, or between two doors if it's a double door. Those conditions will, will vary uh, depending on the thickness of the door, uh, if it's a double door. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the net width of the door will vary depending on whether it's single or double, the thickness of the door, and how the edges of that door are treated. Are they square or are they radiused, uh, you know, uh, radiused over? So really, because there are so many variables, the only thing that we can speak about for sure is that per the template, this dimension is 9 30 seconds of an inch. So that is 1 divided by 32 times 9, that's 0.28125, which is a 30 second over a quarter inch. So it's, it's, it's heavy on a quarter inch right here alone. So you have to allow just over a quarter inch, just for the margin of the, the amount of hinge that you have between the, edge of the hinge edge of the door and the jam. So you're probably going to want to leave another 16th of an inch, something in that range, okay, because that's a... You know, that, that's a theoretical dimension, although it actually exists. However, you know, that hinge is going to sit out a little bit. You know, it's not going to be perfectly flat. It'll sit out a little bit. So you might want to get your hinges installed and then measure how much room you're going to want to have. Um, and that also, like I said, you can have a door if it's just square edged. And if you've got a single square edge door, you're going to need to make sure that you're leaving enough room for the door to not be uh, making contact with the jam. Typically, you would round over the edge of a door. If my fist is the door, I should really get a door sample. Um, you want to leave adequate margin. You probably want to leave another quarter inch, depending on the thickness, if you're not going to be uh, uh, bullnosing each end of the door. So you want to keep that in mind, that you're going to have to achieve a net door width. And part of that equation is going to be how much is here, if it's single or double, and then how thick the door is, okay, and then what you're doing to the other end of the door. I've, you know, I've done this several times, a lot of times. By all means, reach out to me if you have any questions or you'd like to discuss it. Uh, if you have thicker doors, Bomber has larger versions of this, the Dash 4, the Dash 5. This is the half surface. They also have the 3029, which, is, which would be considered mortise style even though those leafs are typically are always surface mounted. Um, there is also a link to cut sheet below this, which gives a lot of information specifically regarding setting the tension on the springs. There are arrows, you can see it there, and that indicates the direction to increase the tension. Tension rod's gonna be included. So you'll wanna only increase the tension in the direction of the arrow then you'll insert the pin that's included into those new holes that you reveal and you'll insert that silver pin in there so it'll kind of it will look like that okay uh, five holes is what the instructions or the cut sheet refers to in terms of how much tension to set again don't overset it if I've not already showed you screws are included painted to match okay tension rod pins will be included you'd need two pins per uh, per hinge. Bomber's really good about making sure that all the uh, quantity of pins are always included. Uh, and uh, several different finishes are also available. Uh, if you have any questions on the Bomber 3023-3-633 uh, double acting uh, half surface uh, spring hinge or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.